H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay. So this is what you will get. And I need to call this inside the main method. But there is no main method out here. So how will I call this? And the main method is not called because you cannot, you know, initialize or instantiate the employees class. You cannot create an object of the employees class. So let's say the employer one wants to use, I uh, wants to get his name, number and address and your uh, net salary based on the gross salary that he gives. So how will you use it? So I will go and create a class file called as, let's say employer one now i'll call the main method out here now if you see one point particular thing i want to import employees into employee one is that possible let us see that first so employees employees e is equal to new employees Now you see there's a red underline coming in because you cannot cannot instantiate the type employees because this is an abstract class. That is why you are not able to do it. Okay. Now how do you basically then use it? Can I use employer? Employer one and create an object of it. Let's say EM1 is equal to new employer. I create and create an object, but can I use the variables and the methods? Private is a method or private is a global variable out here. It can be used in the same class in which it is being defined. If I try to use, for example, it's a non-static name, private string name variable. So if I try to call with em1 dot, I will not get first the name option out here. You can see that if I invariably call it like this and give a value to it let's say name is sam i will get a syntax error stating that where we have defined a variable called name out here so it is showing you that create a field called name in employee one Okay, I don't want to create a name. The employer, employer one should only get his name, number, address, gross salary. He will know it and will need to get the net salary. That's all. So even if I create the employer one subject, I will not be able to use name because it will show you that. I'll comment this first. And show you this one. So it is not showing you the name, the reason being is that it is showing you yeah it is showing you something out here name cannot be resolved or is not a field this is coming because name is a variable of global variable which is a private type it cannot be used in the employer one class if you want to use it you have to create a name variable out here why do you want to just the employer wants to get his details and his net salary that's all that is why I will comment it. What I can do is go back to employers and I'll create a constructor. Constructor name takes the name of the class file. So I can create a constructor of the employees class and the constructor will have the body and the constructor will get the name in string format the number in string format
then the address in string format then the double double in of gross salary double format i don't need to get the net salary i don't need to put this other argument of the constructor because net salary will come out from here okay so i can just write down a ciso statement out here inside the body of the constructor and state that employ employer detail something like this employer detail colon concatenate with a space just a space and then again concatenation and one thing before i do a ciso statement that means whenever i i create an object and pass on the object with the same values as the data types are that object will actually call up this particular constructor that is what the constructor does okay so whenever an object has values which matches this data types present as an argument of the constructor it will definitely call this particular constructor it will give the name this is the parameter variable so i want to make the name whatever is given in the object should be made equal to the global variable for you this i need to use the this keyword sorry this dot name equal to name that means the name that it will be passed in the object will be coming to this variable and that will be passed to your global variable then this dot number is equal to the parameter variable number so the value of parameter variable well that is whatever value we are passing inside the object that will be passed to this particular variable that will be passed to your global variable number and then this dot uh, address is equal to the address that is passed so whenever the object passes the address that address value will be that parameter value for the address will be passed to the global variable address and then this dot gross salary and that will be the global variable whose value will be the gross salary which is nothing but the parameter variable so wherever we pass the gross salary that is the parameter value that will be passed as a global variable value and then i can basically get the details this so first the name so employee detail will be this dot name concatenate this with again with space you can or i can put a dash sign whatever it is to depict it logically this will be concatenated with this dot number this will be concatenated with again a dash and this will be concatenated with this dot address and this will be again concatenated with this dash and this will be concatenated with this dot gross salary done so this will so whenever an object of the class is created it will call this with the values defined based on the parameter defined inside the argument of the employees constructor this body of the constructor will be thrown out and then i also want to get the net salary so i'll just call the net salary directly as i have defined out here done now i cannot instantiate the employees class okay if i try to do that so this is nothing but an employee one and i try to do that i will get a syntax error stating that the instantine instantiation of the object cannot be done okay but i can create an object of the employer one and this employer one so i will have to comment this first 
and employee one will have to pass those values. Okay, but if I pass the values, as we have seen that when you have an abstract class, and these are the properties of the abstract class, until unless this abstract class is inherited by another class, you cannot get the details of the class. So an abstract class has to be inherited by a subclass. Out here, employee one has not inherited. So even if I pass the values, what values I will pass? Name in string format. So let's say name is Sam. Okay. Then you have to give the name and then string number. So let's say number in string format. So let's say 98. This is the number for example. And then you have Then you have a numbers. After the number, you have the address. Let's say address is in string format. You have to pass on Bulgaria. And then in double format, you have to give the gross salary. That is what is given out here. Gross salary. And let's say the gross salary is 4 lakhs. So out here there's a problem, there's a red underline coming in. It says that create a constructor of the employee. Because right now what is happening is that I'm creating a constructor of employer one. You saying that it's try to create a construct of the employee. You can create a construct of the employee out here. Okay. Now you pass on this as a double i, whatever it is. So these value will be passed out here. What will be thrown out? Let's say I want to throw out this whole thing. Net salary and all. Inside this. CISO statement. Okay, I do not use this null name, just name and number. It is called as name, so I'll call this as name. This is number. This is address. And this is your gross salary. Okay, so I will just not use the this part. And the gross salary part. Now, do I think I will get the value? And passed on net salary. Now, net salary is showing you some syntax error. Net salary is undefined for the employee one. Have you defined the net salary part? Unless I define it out here, then I can use it. Have I defined it? I don't want to create this kind of situation in which I have to create the functions for employer one or these kind of variables for employer one. I don't want to do that. That is what I'm trying to say. Okay. This is work at this point of time where it will show you these values. Fine. I have not created the net salary. That is fine. That is why I don't want to do. I don't want to create any functions for the employer one. I'm getting the details right now because the constructor has been called. Okay. Now it is it giving the net salary. I want to basically, if it is an abstract class, please remember that it has to be inherited. So let's say I remove all these things. I don't want any of those things. This should, any employer only should get the details about his name and number and his 
address and let's say is you are giving the gross salary you should get the net salary how do i do that so any abstract class needs to be first inherited so extends has to be the keywords and then this extends employee okay now there is a red underline out here there is a red underline out here is employees okay so there is a red underline out here remove the argument it is showing okay so i cannot initiate the object of the employees class because employees is an abstract class so this is out of question according to the rule I, but i can initiate the object of the employer one class and this i am passing the values this should actually call this particular constructor because this constructor has been made a public constructor but the variables are private that means can be this variable can be only used in this particular class and this method is private so let us check that so what i need to do for that first of all i have to add the constructor of the employer one so i'll add it so name number address double gross salary is coming so after that you are seeing there is a keyword called super there is a keyword called super is coming why this keyword is coming because what does super keyword do the super keyword has to be used in a parent child relationship okay now i want to actually when i am putting these particular values in the object of the employer one i actually need to call this constructor you need to have this constructor but i need to call the super constructor which is present in employees this is a super constructor because this is a parent class this is a super constructor or a parent constructor whatever it is that so how do i call the super constructor that means i want to run the body part of the super constructor so how do i call it i use the super keyword in the super keyword i am passing on the same parameter variables which are present in the super constructor out here see name number address cross salary out here okay that means i am trying to say that when this m object is initiated with these values it will definitely call this particular constructor present with the same parameter values and this particular constructor is going to internally call the super constructor body and that is why the super keyword has been used and the name number are nothing but the parameter variables in the super constructor and the super constructor is present out here in the employees class this is how you can use the super keyword please remember one particular thing the keyword called super is used in the parent child relationship only okay in inheritance only whether it is an abstract class that you are inheriting in a subclass or a simple public class in inheriting in a simple subclass you can use the super keyword to get the body part of a method present in the super class or you want to basically when this object is initialized with these values it is automatically going to call this particular constructor because the constructor parameter values or parameters are matching with the parameter values out here but what you are need, needed to basically run the body part of this of this constructor will run so when the body part is run it looks at this particular keyword the compiler looks at the particular keyword called super now that means it is trying to call the super constructor and the body part of it and when you are basically passing on the parameters of this keyword ensure that these parameters values are matching with the parameter values that are defined in the super constructor done once you do that you can save this class file and run it you see where are you getting these details from where are we getting these details for sam this and this how it is coming like employer detail it is coming from the body part of the super constructor this part okay similarly apart from this how i am getting net salary is 3 360000 because i have called the net salary method 
inside the super constructor and the gross salary is this much you can see that this is the gross salary okay so it is between the range of 3 lakh and 5 5 lakhs so if it is between the range of 3 lakhs and 5 lakhs 3 lakh 1 and 5 lakhs 10 percent of tax will be cut and that is what has happened The gross salary is 4 lakhs minus 10 percent is 40 4 lakhs minus 40 thousand is 3 lakh 60 thousand similarly i can create another so i can create so this how this is how employer one will get its details okay so after putting his you know his name number and bulgaria whatever it is address he puts the gross salary immediately in the console you'll get the net salary also similarly like this you can create employer 2 and who wants to get it his or her own details call up the main method out here and the employer 2 has to extend otherwise details will not be getting because the details are present in an abstract class the abstract class has to be inherited by a subclass so extends employee okay employees and then i can create like this an object of the employer to and pass on the values so that without wasting time i'll do it this is employee 2 em2 is equal to employer 2 let's say the employer name is peter you can give any number 86 for example this stays let's say in india and his salary is let's say 9 lakhs if the salary is between 5 lakh 1 and 10 lakhs the tax cut will be the tax cut will be 20 percent and if you see out here i need to add the constructor And these all should be in your string format so, so when a constructor is called this constructor will be called the body part will have the super this will call the super constructor present in the abstract class and it will actually initiate the, the code statements within the super constructor so if I save this class file and run it I'll get the net salary as 7 lakhs 20,000 20 percent 20 has been cut so 9 lakhs 20 percent is 1 lakh 80 thousand so 1 lakh 80 thousand is cut from 9 lakh and this is the net salary of peter so this is how you can use the abstraction and how you can use the abstraction class out here in the next session we will see about abstraction or abstract methods rather so that's about it Thanks very much. Appreciated your time.